What's going on everybody? Alex here with Nick and Zana Landscape. Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. Uh, almost New Year's here. Hope everyone has a great New Year. Hope you got to spend a lot of time with your friends and family. Uh, for us, for most of the country, we had a major cold front that brought snow and ice that started on the 23rd and for us lasted until the 27th. So that's what you're gonna see here in today's video. I got a little bit of plow footage, not a whole lot. It was frigid cold. We had literally like negative 32 35 something uh real feel and it was like negative three degrees uh, we had like a 40 degree temperature drop in like eight hours so that was what began our uh plowing and salting we didn't do a whole lot of plowing we did a little bit but we did a lot of salting so that's what you're gonna see in today's video mostly our salt run that we did on december 26th and then a little bit of the plowing that we did on the 23rd hope you guys enjoy this video if you do, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and let us know what you're thinking as you're watching. All right, guys, let's jump into it. All I can think about as I'm editing this part of the video is how thankful I am for these V-boxes. I can't even tell you how much time I spent in the back of a truck cutting salt bags and loading salt bags. Here this video takes me about two and a half minutes to load up the hopper and I pushed a little salt around in the bin. I can do it faster than two and a half minutes but it's about what it took me here. Um, but to cut this many bags and fill this hopper, I don't even know what it would take but oh my gosh, I'm so thankful for these V-boxes. All right guys, so for our salting here today, we are using the Byers or the Salt Dog SHPE 2000. Done a bunch of videos on this spreader if you're interested in that. Uh, after you watch this one, go over and check those out. But uh, it's a great spreader, we really like it. The only problem we ever have with it is when it gets really, really cold, salt wants to freeze up in there. But uh, salt wants to freeze up anywhere whenever it's got a lot of moisture in it and it is really cold salt just uh, does not like to flow through these things so uh, that would be the only downfall of it really which i don't think that's the spreader i think that's just uh, nature doing what it does but all in all we really like this spreader and then i got a blue light on here that we really really like uh it's 
not something that you have to have necessarily, but it really helps on days like this where there's a little bit of snow on the ground, a little bit of ice, it's kind of patchy, it's not consistent. This blue light really helps you to be able to see the material flying out. You can see that salt or, you, or the granulars in that blue shadow uh, much easier than you can with just a regular white light, especially on the snow, uh, white light sometimes it's you know it can be really hard to see so uh, this is something we started doing and we put it on our spinners so whenever the spreader comes on and off the light goes with it so uh, just a feature that we really like but yeah that's what we got going on here and that's the machine that we're using in this video All right, so for this one here, I did kind of an in the cab view uh, what I see as I'm out salting a lot. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of these different views. I tried to get a few different ones for this one.
All right, guys, so that will wrap up our salt run. Hope you guys enjoyed that portion of the video, and I'm just going to wrap it up here with the footage that I got from us plowing on the 22nd into the 23rd. It's not a lot, but it's what I got. Hope you guys enjoy.